Hey Katie, is it cool if we rain check tonight? Perfect, thanks. Come on, Katie, pick up. Pick up. What is going on guys, Will here. Welcome to the video. Today is gonna to be a day of my favorites. So we have done the Rock's favorites in the past and that is pretty much it. So today is all about me and take a look how pretty that wall is with all those rainbows. But yeah, today is all about me, my favorite foods, my favorite activities that I can show on YouTube, you know, just anything that makes me smile on the inside. So we're gonna be heading to the first stop right now. I think you guys know what it is, but I don't think you guys know where it's from. Can I get a large dark roast black, please? Everything else? That's everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. You too. It has been a minute since we've done a little bit of a donut mukbang in the car, hasn't it? Man, I am just happy to be here right now. So we went to a bakery called all you need and I just got four donuts as opposed to my typical 12 and the reason being is because these things are huge like one of them is equivalent to having like three in your mouth which is another reason to love them so we are starting in a place of familiarity with just like the classic cinnamon sugar donut and then we're going on to a place of adventure here with these next three so we have this uh strawberry cheesecake donut then we have a dunk of bears donut and then this berry blast with pop tarts on top Sounds a little fun. And then on the side, of course, we got ourselves a large dark roast block from Tim Hortons, turning our Tim Hortons coffee into a bit of a swinger with a new set of partners. So um, let's just hop right into it and get this cinnamon sugar into the inner chamber of my mouth. Not the most creative in the box, but just like missionary, it gets the job done. So here we go. Look at that bad boy. Looks beautiful. Yep, I just opened my mouth wider than it should have. These things are huge. These are the donuts that tell you how good a bakery really is because there's no fillers, there's nothing. It's just like, there is the dough and then this is what we provide. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I've choked on a lot of them, but I still love them. Holy crap. This thing just feels like it has been rammed. I don't see an insertion hole. Holy crap. A filled donut tells a story, and this thing is at maximum capacity, just like a warehouse rave. And you know what? It tells you a lot about the baker, too, and I'm sensing some monogamy frustration. Good morning, nut. I'm telling you what, this filling could be transferred to many different things, not just this. What would you guys, if you guys did a day of your favorites, what would you start your day off with? Comment down below, I'm curious. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to this berry blast situation. It kind of looks like something that you find in the, the weird parts of Disneyland. Looks pretty fun, if what not have you. So I think that this is gonna be filled with like a, a jelly situation. I'm hopeful for a nice preserve this morning. Oh, it's not filled. It's not filled, but give me a couple minutes, you know what I mean? I mean, I wouldn't call this like a berry blast. I'm not getting anything else other than blueberry. Again, very, very, very good. Oh, shit. All right, let's wrap up this little soiree with this uh, Dunka Bear. So I'm assuming it's like a Dunkaroos. Reminds me of a, uh, my like lunches back in the day as a kid. We have the four little gangsters on top of this donut sitting on a hill of this icing. So I hope they nail this icing because the Dunkaroo snack was made by that icing. And then the, the cookie was just a bonus. They nailed it. All right, guys, well, that is going to wrap up meal number one. Feeling very, very sick. I haven't done these things in a long, long time, so still catching up to me with all the sugar and all the carbs, so I'm going to go home, relax for a little bit, and I'll check on you guys very soon. All right, guys, we are in the gym right now about to hop into a workout. So the workout is going to be a bunch of my favorite exercises that I can do in the gym, and joining me is 
Vic Tenney. So on my Instagram, you guys asked me some of my favorite things, and I'm gonna answer them during the workout today. Uh, for the incline press, it's gonna be like a speed round. It's the first thing that comes to my mind. She's gonna read off whatever she wants to read off. Three, two. Favorite cereal? Pop, corn pops. Favorite workout routine? Mine, check my videos out. Favorite cookie? Chocolate chip. Favorite movie? Shawshank Redemption. Favorite protein powder flavor? Blue Star, peanut butter mocha, 1010, 10% off. <laughs> Favorite nut? <sighs> Next question. <laughs> Uh, favorite fast food restaurant? Wendy's. Nice. Favorite drug? <sighs> Donuts. Oh, my God. Favorite fitness YouTuber? <laughs> Will Tennyson. Okay, that is set number one. Moving on to set number two, and I just watched the footage back, and I realized I just I hit a PR. I got 12 reps there, and I was hoping for like around 10, so which is pretty pretty strange. So hopping into set number two. Yeah. Favorite thing about your own body? My nose. Favorite personality trait of yours? Mischievous. <laughs> Favorite book? Kama Sutra. Uh, favorite Harry Potter character? <laughs> Hermione. Definitely Hermione. Yeah, I agree. <sighs> Hit me. Favorite vegetable? Zucchini. Uh, favorite song? <laughs> Slow dancing in a burning room, John Mayer. Uh, favorite lift. Lift? Yeah. Overhead press, which we're doing right now. Okay, so for the overhead press, it's gonna be a little bit different than the incline press. So the incline press is more like a rapid fire. So for this, I'm gonna press up and I can't come back down until I answer the question. What's your favorite form of cardio, smirky face? Rowing. Favorite pen? <laughs> What the? <laughs> Bic, the Bic ones. <laughs> Favorite pizza topping? Pepperoni. <laughs> Favorite leg exercise? Squat. Favorite sex toy? <sighs> Zucchini. Ooh. Favorite spice girl? Sporty spice. <laughs> Favorite bedtime snack? <sighs> Next question. Favorite car? Porsche 911 Turbo. Favorite condom flavor? Oh, shit. Berry Blast. <laughs> Favorite question to avoid? Are you the father? Favorite anabolic kitchen recipe? Anabolic ice cream. Nice. Favorite form of potatoes? Twice baked. Favorite video game? Halo 3. Favorite activity during the day? I'm blanking right now. Eating. Done. Oh. Okay, so I'm doing some wide grip cable rows next. This is by far my favorite back exercise lately. I've been doing it almost every single back workout, and she's gonna keep on fire away with some questions. Favorite season? Summer. Favorite healthy snack? Right, Greek yogurt. Favorite cereal filler? Ted Bundy. Favorite position? CEO. Favorite actor? Jake Gyllenhaal. Okay, so that was it for the little Q&A. So now I'm gonna move on to some of my favorite accessory work, which is the lateral raise and biceps. So I used to hate doing arms, but now I love it. So we're gonna do that and then head upstairs and have some lunch. Also have a very big appetite as you guys know so I have made a lot of great friends along the way so today we're gonna honor them with a little bit of a dieting tribute so I'm gonna put a tray together of my favorite cutting foods which is gonna be very high in protein very very filling and very low in calories
There is so much white stuff in front of me and yet so much more right off camera. <laughs> So this is like a anabolic tapas, anabolic charcuterie board, if you will. So we got some cauliflower rice, egg whites, Greek yogurt, ricotta cheese, rice cakes, zucchini, coffee, anabolic ice cream. All of these foods have proven to satisfy my various hungers, whether that's my stomach or more carnal desires. So I don't even know which one I'm gonna start with first. I think I'm gonna go with, we gotta go with the anabolic ice cream. It's just like the treat. I look forward to this every single night before bed. And if you guys are an anabolic ice cream like lover, Get a plastic spoon, McFlurry spoon, it makes a world of a difference. It's like having coffee in a to-go cup, just makes it a lot better. Moving on to the cauliflower rice. So I've never seen the cauliflower in those microwave pouches before until now. And again on this channel, we're having cauliflower in not its purest form. Have we ever thought to think to ask cauliflower if it wants to be all these things? Like, I don't know. I feel like we don't appreciate the actual vegetable for what it is. We're always just, we're always just manipulating it in so many different ways. Let's go a little bit of yogurt and some rice cake. One of my favorite snacks. Ooh, <clears throat> it's gonna be hard to time lapse this thing. It's a lot of volume of food. You know what's pretty funny? That whole tray and then this whole blender is probably less calories than one of those donuts I had this morning. It just goes to show you, like your food choices actually really matter. And I mean, if you lived off all this solely, you'd be pretty shredded, although you'd probably have some sort of a, a fat deficiency, so I wouldn't recommend it. But if you're looking to cut and lose some body fat, these are all fantastic options. One of my favorite things growing up as a kid was my birthday party, obviously. And one of the things I always did for my birthday party was laser tag, but unfortunately with COVID, it's closed right now and I'm banned for reasons that I cannot talk about. So I went onto Amazon and I found these like home laser tag kits and I asked my dad, would you play with me? And he was like, no, but he did say, he would play airsoft with me in the woods. So here we are, and here is my dad, my actual father. Like this is actually him. Hey dad. So we're gonna go 1v1 airsoft and see what happens. Uh, gonna get him back for all these years. So gotta keep a close eye on you because I know you can just disappear, but just like that, you know? So quick little uh, fact about my dad. He's a third degree black belt in karate. He has some Navy SEALs training, so he knows how to use one of these things, but I think he's gonna be a camper. I'm just gonna go like just full tilt, just run at him and just freaking blitz the dude, okay? So safety off, let's do it, baby. All right, Dad, ready? Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. We're in combat. Oh, did I get you there? Yeah. There you go. I'm head hunting, man. Oh. Ooh. That wakes you up. Oh, that's close. Got me. Hands up, man. Okay, guys, so that was airsoft against my dad. What'd you think? Yeah, he liked it. I didn't feel a thing. I think I finessed my way through the, like you went through like 10 rounds there and I was just like juking all around. But all that running around has built me up an appetite. So we're gonna go home, shower up and then make some dinner. So we are headed to go pick up some dinner. So we're going to a place called the Unionville Arms. I've been going to this place since I was a little kid. They have the best pizza on the planet. And I'll tell you right now, it is the most untraditional pizza on the planet. Like getting pizza from here is like, getting the brunch buffet at the strip club. You would never expect it to be good, but shit bangs, you know? So we are gonna go pick it up. I pre-ordered and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, so we got dinner. So this is for the rest of my family. I got three pizzas. I usually get four, but because of the donuts I had earlier, I just wanted to kind of taper it back. So this is a family run business. Super, super nice people. It's really nice to be able to support them, especially right now. Restaurants are dying. They have really no chance. So, you know, support local businesses, guys. All right, Nona's, cover your eyes. Here's the big reveal. Katie, does your Nona watch this? No. She doesn't watch the channel? Okay. 
All right, so there it is in all its glory. It's a barbecue chicken pizza. So it's jerk chicken, and then the crust is actually two tortilla wraps, as you guys can see right there. And then there's barbecue sauce, sauteed onions, red peppers. They definitely reached a creative peak here, and it's unreal. So I'm gonna devour this thing, and then that's my dinner. They knew it was me ordering, so they said they brought a bunch of other sauces on the side because you know we do, we take this elsewhere. <laughs> Literally, the whole entire family is just behind the camera, and then this is just my date tonight. But my usual date is right here. Including your there dad. There she is, and my dad's right off camera. Shockingly. Yeah, I'm pretty sore. He gave me a beating in the woods. Ooh. Yeah, he dropped the hammer. And here's Patrick. This is, guy, this is the guy. This guy behind all the. The, the filmmaking and stuff. You guys, a lot of you guys always ask. So he's the goat for the filming. First bite, the absolute best bite. So the process of this is when you actually go to pick up the food, which is probably the best part, wouldn't you say? Picking up the food because it's the anticipation to opening the box, Absolutely. which is the second best part. And then you look at it, which is the third best part. And then the first bite, which is the, the fourth best part. All right, take a look at that going in. I don't know how they execute this. It tastes like phyllo dough, but it's tortilla. Do you like it? Yo, it's so unique. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like a multicultural pizza. Yeah, how do they do this? With your brain's confused, but your mouth's happy. It's like you get like, you're like, are you in the islands with the jerk chicken? But then are you in Italy with the pizza? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Mm -hmm. All the chicken, chicken's been jerked on this table. Okay, so it's time to make some desserts. We've had donuts, we've had pizza. We all need a day to go rogue every now and then, you know what I mean? So I have bought some pretty amazing things from the streets and bakeries of NYC, but nothing compares to Giardelli's brownies. But unfortunately, I went to four different supermarkets and they didn't, they didn't have them anywhere. So we had to improvise and we went with Betty Crocker. Betty Crocker? Hardly know her. She makes some brownies and then to accompany that, we are gonna have it with some low calorie vanilla ice cream cool way so just a serving so the only time it's appropriate to not to eat the whole entire pint is if you're going to accompany it with something else we're going to put this together right now and that is our nightcap So let's see what Betty Crocker is all about. So it sounds like the name of someone's great grandmother. So hopefully it doesn't taste like one. And uh, I have high expectations. I'm comparing it to Giardelli's right here. And I'm gonna go no ice cream for the first bite. Oh, she tastes great. That is rich, that's moist. It is so chocolatey, it's a little bit underdone. Cause I didn't realize brownies take like 38 minutes in the oven. So we took it out probably like 10 minutes early. I couldn't wait. So I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this. I'm actually watching my favorite TV show of all time, How I Met Your Mother. And I'm gonna wrap up the video here. That was a full day of my favorites. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.